work this blazing bonfire as we used to go all the time. And then we got a dog. Oh, yeah. And it sort of stopped because <laughs> I had to stay home and look at the recording. Uh, I had to stay home and look after the dog uh, while it went mad and tried to burrow into the furniture and stuff. So I went years without going to a bonfire. I'm, this is probably the first one I've been to for ages. I love it. And I can remember when I was younger, you know, you'd stay right till the end. The end. It's £2.50 burger. Unbelievable. Cowboys. I said hello, everybody. We are here today to celebrate the 90th birthday of Her Majesty the Queen, which is fantastic. What we have tonight is a beacon that we are asked to light at around about 7.30, which is about now. And the person that's going to light the beacon is none other than Councillor John Medhurst. John Medhurst has served the parish council for over 25 years. He is the man that drained the soil that you stand on for the recreation ground. So he has the honour tonight of lighting the fire. So for John Medhurst, 25 years serving. And now he's going to set light to While he's doing that, Prince Charles has written to us at the parish. He apologises, he couldn't be here tonight. It's quite busy. <laughs> Uh, but he's asked me to read a message out to you all. People of West End, I'm delighted that so many people throughout the United Kingdom have come together to light beacons in celebration of my mother, the Queen's 90th birthday. It is a wonderful gesture, which I know has deeply touched Her Majesty. Beacons are to be lit on mountain tops, on beaches, in farmyards, on church towers uniting us all in a heartfelt appreciation of the Queen's lifetime of service to the United Kingdom and other realms and, of course, the Commonwealth. Since time immemorial, the light of beacons has relayed important messages across the land. This message we proclaim with the greatest pride and affection. Your Majesty, we will wish you a very happy birthday. Thank you very much. Effigy of Prince Charles. <laughs> Sock it, what have I said? <laughs> Has anyone seen the scout? <laughs> uh, excellent. Am I in it? Where's my beer? Have you got me? Say cheese. Cheese. <laughs> oh, Cheers. You take me as well. Yeah. For the record. Thank you. I'm going to post it on the Facebook. Oh, right. Uh, yeah. Something about a good old bonfire, isn't it? Yeah. Well, we went to see one when we were in Cornwall one year on cricket tour. Oh, yeah, that's right. I mean, the Druids have been around, but this was a traditional Cornish thing, wasn't it? Where they used to collect a whole range of herbs and flowers and all that. And that year we went, they collected all but three. There was quite an obscure list, some of them. They said a prayer in English and in Cornish, didn't they? Yes, that's right. Which was something. They really wholeheartedly believed in keeping traditions alive and all that. It was terrible, but the one thing I remember about that night was standing behind a, a very old woman in a huge farm. Think how much money they have lost by not having enough stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They have lost probably hundreds of pounds. Yep. All the old favourite tunes coming out. Pop soundtrack to our lives. Somebody thought it was a good idea, I suppose. I didn't know there was this many people in West Virginia. 